while I do appreciate Matthew's Archery's incredible clothing line, I will not be needing their hoodie out here anymore. Doing, Mr. David? I'm good, buddy. Good to see you too. Yeah. There goes some right there. I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, go right ahead, buddy. It's the leftovers. He's the yeah, he's a young he's got grand, <laughs> the top, huh? First afternoon here in Florida. Beautiful. It's warm. I don't know how bad in the city it's going to be, but we got the thermocell in case. We got our bog chairs here, guns. Got some decoys if we need them. Water, snacks. We good. We good. We're long beer, two long beers. It opens up to a field right there. So. Bunch of hog tracks. They got this place tore up. Like hearing them fall out of the so the tractor's here sky here. Mm -hmm. need one of them like luckily snacks. chad like snacks so much as we did he brought what you got there well vita i don't think i've ever had one of these they're good. pretty good yeah they bad here we are first morning in south florida we are uh, situated just off an old home place here. Around some beautiful palm trees, live oaks. Just screams South Florida, the setup does. We got our decoys out here about 20 yards away. We drove in yesterday and we seen some birds in kind of this pasture here, this flat, whatever you want to call it. So. We're just gonna camp out here, at least until we hear one gobble. They're not really too close, we'll make a move on them, but we can see a long way right here. We haven't heard one yet, we're saying just don't gobble much down here, at least on this farm, because of all the, the predators, lions, tigers, and bears. That one long beard somewhere over there, but he ain't as much as even gobble. Well, I went and checked that peanut field where that bird was gobbling earlier. 
and uh, there's some deer out there and this guy working on a pump or something over there so I didn't have no fates. I couldn't see the whole field but I'm sure he's not going to be around that guy working on that pump. But there's a bird somewhere. You got to get it done early. Big day this morning. He's got to leave. We got to be back here at 10 30. They still give us three hours to hunt. He went to the full strut. So I don't think he was by himself. No luck set up on that last bird. He didn't do right. So I think he had hens. But now we got to get David to the airport quickly. To me, besides those wing bars, yeah. would almost be an eastern. Holy cow, that last one was huge. Well, it's the last day, last morning here. We got a flight out of uh, Fort Myers tonight at, let's see, 540. So we'll get to hunt in half day like we've been doing. We just want to hunt this afternoon. So we got to get it done. We got a plan. We know two different bird, two different groups of three where they're roosted at, but we also know a really good spot where Rocky has been saying, hey, you got to get right here at daylight. So one of those three spots, and obviously we've got all these long beards out here. If nothing happens off the roost, we may try those at 10 or so. I can hear them pitching down out of the cypress trees. We snuck in there early this morning. They've been hanging out in this pasture. these roads, the higher elevation I'm sure where they can see, feel safe, see hens, predators, etc. So we're set up right on this grade coming out of this cypress roost. That might have been way up in here in Gobble. I wonder if they have any bobcats here or the panthers kill them all. Well, we decided to deer hunt these birds. We came and got in the edge of these where these panels all come together. And these turkeys, every day we come back from hunting, they're out here. We said we're going to stop hunting at night in the morning, get out here and just wait on them. And uh, almost deer hunt the suckers. And then they were out this middle of a big pasture, but they all tend to go back and forth. So. Hens just walked right past us. He's coming right here behind them. I need to probably get my gun out at some point.
see what he does. Pretty good. He's eight, just be real still, he's kind of looking. Good. Yes. Oh, we did it. Oh, the grand slam is complete. Didn't even get to eat our snacks, Cole. I had a bunch of them. Thank the Lord. Look at those dark wings, man. Look at that. That's what you're about. Those wing bars. Oh, he's got some good spurs. An inch and a quarter. Beautiful bird. Looks at that. Never got to see him strut. Kind of half strut a little bit. Right there, he's behind these two hens. Oh, thank you, Lord. They've been kicking our fanny. It's kind of towards the last half of their uh, season down here. And we're, I mean, we're around the edge of the Everglades. We're South Florida, South, South, South Florida. And uh, I just felt like we've been hunting. Like these spring birds, I mean, summer birds. All year. It's like when you're hunting in May, an hour, or June almost, you know, after season's closed. Oh man, look at that. They just didn't respond to calls. We've hardly seen any strut. No goblin, especially no goblin on the ground. Holding him up, though. Thank you, Lord.